What are you doing, Tiff? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm so done with working in tech. I'm so done with trying to keep up with tech. I mean, it's impossible nowadays. I'm always falling behind. Listen, I'm going to share with you some ways that you can easily keep up to date with tech so you, you don't have to throw out your monitor. Okay, well, I guess I could be nicer to my monitor. Tell me more. Okay, you don't wanna be like that Tiff I just showed you. Learning new tech can be hard. Keeping up with tech can feel impossible. These are big, big things that we as technologists honestly have the responsibility to do, I would say, based on how quickly tech is moving. Now, I know on one hand it can feel like it is impossible to keep up with tech. Tip, what are you even talking about? Things are changing so quickly. And every day it feels like things are changing at a quicker pace, which you're not alone in feeling that way. You feel that way because the reality is it's actually true. Tech is moving so quick and it's continuing to move at an unprecedented pace as AI continues to evolve and different aspects of tech. It really brings up the question, that's, I mean, that's why I wanted to make this video, is how do you keep up to date with tech? In this video, I'm going to share with you some real tips that you can take away and how I keep up to date with tech. Now, there are aspects of tech I don't know anything about, and that's a good thing. That should be the same for everyone. I mean, having surface level knowledge anyways, but not diving into, because that's impossible. But having these tips that I'm going to share with you will really help keep it easier, make it easier for you to keep up to date with tech. And these aren't the tips that you will see typically shared on a blog post or shared on other videos. I'm going to give you all my secrets, all my secret powers, my secret, uh, whatever it is, my sec I don't know. I'm just gonna share with you my secrets. All right, let's get into it. All right, before we get into the meat and bones, I don't know if that's something people say still, before we get into the meat and bones of some different techniques that I use to keep up to date with tech, I wanna share with you some that are more common that people do, just to at least we cover them because they are still important. The number one being newsletters. I am a huge fan of newsletters, and if you aren't, I hope you become one after this video because newsletters are such a great way to pick a few different ones that you're really interested in. They get delivered to your mailbox, you can skim over them, and then if there are subjects within those newsletters that you are really passionate about, you can easily dive into them further. Newsletters are key for me in order to stay up to date with tech. Another way I do so is through social media. Now, I, it's interesting because I'm obviously on social media. Hi, I'm here. But I'm very selective as to who I follow on social media. And also, I mute a lot of people on social media, if I'm being totally honest. People that you might have relationships with or friendships with, but you're like, yeah, this content really isn't serving with me. And I'm bringing that up because it's important to note, when you are scrolling your feed, what do you want your brain to be consumed with? What do you want your mind to be consumed with? Is it um, educational info? Is it about tech updates, tech news? Is it more comedy? Based on that, really curate your feed and honestly, use that mute button. It's, it's your friend, it's there for a reason and it doesn't hurt people's feelings because they don't know you're muted or they're muted. But using tech to or social media to keep up to date with tech has been a great thing for me to do. All right, now that we got the obvious ones pushed out of the way, let's get into more intricate or unique ways to keep up to date with tech. The number one way that I've been recently doing so is I actually created a custom GPT. Now this is really cool because I, I use AI all the time, I use ChatGPT, all the time, I thought, why not create a custom GPT that will notify me or give me information of the most up-to-date news in tech? So this is something that you can really customize and make your own. I didn't release this to the store, but maybe I should. But it's really simple to do. You essentially go into ChatGPT, create your custom GPT with the specific actions you want. And you can get very specific. On one hand, there are so many different APIs out there that are feeding uh, or updating the most updated, updating the most updated, sharing the most updated tech news. That is a great way to take these APIs. You literally can plug them into your custom GPT and then get on a daily basis the most up-to-date tech news that is trending. And even with tech news, it's what kind of tech news do you want? So you can filter through, do you want more product-based? Do you want more things that are softer focused? Like what, what really interests you? So that's one way, really leaning on tools of AI, like AI to help you. I always now think of AI like an assistant. If I'm struggling with something or feeling like, oh, this is taking too long to do, lean into AI. There is a tool for that. I feel like everyone under the sun right now has a business around AI. So you take advantage of that by finding tools that best help you. 
All right, this next tip is for anyone who is either often finds themselves in the car driving, maybe you take the train or subway, or maybe you walk a lot of places. Now, what do all these have in common? Well, for one thing, it's this time that you can use to listen to podcasts, to books, etc. Now, in this case, what I will do is Okay, I've never shared this tip before, but it's really good. I will actually use something called Speechify. Welcome to Speechify. Speechify can read to you in the highest quality digital voices available anywhere. Now, there are a ton of different AI tools out there that will do this for you. This is just the one I use. But if I know something is trending, based on all the other information I just shared with you, and it's a longer article, or maybe I want a few articles summarized, what I will do is I will input the articles into Speechify, and then I can listen to uh, Speechify as it reads to me the article. Now there are many different ways you can do this, whether it be through the way I do it, where it's, you know, listening to this article uh, through audio, or you could use something going back to ChatGPT where it's summing up the article for you in a short paragraph. I usually like to listen to it because I feel like with the summarization, I'm not that great at, uh, I like understanding the bigger picture. And to do that, I need context from the entire article. So I like to listen to it. I find it a great way to balance my time where I'm already in the car driving, or going to take the train, so why not put my AirPods on and listen to the audio version of this? Now, I mean, of course, if you're not driving, you could also be reading it as well. I'm an audio girl, but that's a secret. I'll link uh, Speechify down below. No, this is not sponsored by them or anything, but I just, I think it's a really cool tool. And I mean, there are tons of other AI tools out there that will do the same thing. That's just the one I gravitate to. All right, the other one I do is I utilize trending repositories. So if you go on right now, actually GitHub, and this is for whether you are a technical person or not, you can see what trend is trending on GitHub. So. AWS uh, Labs is trending number one. Today alone, it had 1300 stars. Then we have Apple, keep on going down. We do have some Bitcoin in here. But what this does is it's a great way to really see what people are working on, what projects they're working on and building, because that will give you a sense of what is trending means, what technology is really being worked on and used within these projects. And that will give you a sense as to where the, you know, kind of getting ahead of what is coming up in tech. I always find whatever is trending on GitHub Soon afterwards, I'll see it coming up in the news or different articles. Speaking of articles, another resource I love to utilize is called DevTO. And I'm sure you've all heard of this. You haven't been living under a rock, but DevTO, what I do when I go on their site, let me go on it right now, is I will go under, uh, I'll do two things. One being relevant because, you know, I just want to see what's going on. But then also too, I will go to top. And that is a great way to see what is really trending in the developer community. Now, even if you're not a developer, I find it a good way as to understand a little bit about what people are working on, what they're building, and get a sense as to where the trends are going. Now, this is a great way between having a sense of you know, where the tech trends are going, but then also to keeping up to date with tech to stay ahead actually. And I know that sounds impossible in today's workforce, in today's world, staying ahead of tech, but these tips will, for me anyways, they really help me stay ahead in tech, or at least I feel that way. I don't feel as though I'm always behind. That being said though, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you're never going to understand everything about tech, know all the different tech news. So really pick your niche as to what tech news you really want to focus in on. And then from there, you can curate kind of your entire world to be based around that uh, interest of yours, meaning coming from your newsletters, social media, doing things like creating your own GPT like I did, and then also to having the bigger picture through using things like DevTO or even GitHub trending to see what else is going on. Speaking of what else is going on, I need to go film a video, a tech news video. So if you don't already, I also do uh, updates through videos with tech news, sharing with you a recap of what happened the week before. So I'll link that playlist down below. That was like a very unintentional self-promotion. It didn't mean to be, but I love sharing tech news based on all the ways that I just shared with you, accumulating it and then breaking it down for you. All right, on that note, I hope you all have a great day. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.